50 million of these Kalashnikov rifles in the world today. They're good guns. You may have encountered them in Vietnam, the Middle East, or Central America. And now that they're being imported into this country in great numbers, the reason I'm making this videotape is to show you how to field strip, disassemble, and then reassemble your AK. Okay, the first thing we must do is unload the rifle. Hold the rifle like this, then grasp the magazine with your other hand. Press the magazine release forward and remove the clip. Make sure the barrel is pointed in a safe direction. Take the rifle off safety by rotating the safety lever down as far as it'll go. Okay? Then pull back briskly on the bolt carrier. There was a shell in there. Now, holding back on the bolt carrier, peer down into the chamber to make sure there's nothing in it. This gun is safely unloaded. To remove our tools and accessories from the stock, just depress the butt plate cover like this until the spring pushes out the case with the accessories in it. Take these out and set them aside. Remove the cleaning rod from the front of the barrel by bending it out from the barrel like this and pulling it out. To remove the cover, press the guide face into the cover hole, then raise the cover and lift it off. To remove the return mechanism, push the return spring guide forward until its rear face leaves the groove. Lift the guide rear face like this and remove the return mechanism from the operating rod channel. Lay that aside. Remove the bolt bolt carrier and piston by grasping the bolt carrier behind the cocking handle and pulling back. Then remove the bolt from the bolt carrier. Using the little tool that came out of the accessory package in the stock, attach it like this and rotate the gas cylinder locking lever upward to a vertical position. Grasp the rear portion of the upper hand guard and pull off the gas cylinder. To disassemble the return mechanism, compress the return spring and remove this washer from the guide rod. Now be careful. 
If things uh, slip, this thing will shoot across the room. Okay, compress the spring and carefully remove this little piece here. Keep hold of the spring and work it off. and set these parts aside. For disassembling the bolt, use a punch or a blunted nail and tap out the smaller of the two pins in the bolt. Now you can remove the firing pin right there. Then you strain the extractor with your thumb and using a blunt nail or a pin drive out the other. Extract the pin. Okay? I'm holding that with my thumb so it won't come out. Okay, I've still got the nail in there. There's the pin. Now I'll hold the extractor very tightly, remove my nail, and let the extractor and its spring come out and set those aside. To disassemble the firing and trigger mechanism, first restrain the hammer, pull the trigger, and ease the hammer over past its normal forward position, like this. Then, with a screwdriver or a small pair of pliers, grab the hammer spring from the trigger assembly and Bring it forward like you see me doing here. Okay. Uh, just to uh, prevent things from getting away from us, I'm going to tie a rubber band around this so that these, so this hammer spring doesn't pop out on us while we're disassembling it. Okay? Then, with a small screwdriver, lift the front loop of the hammer pin retaining spring. It's this solid spring right here. It runs over the trigger pin here, and then it goes under the hammer pin down here. Just put that aside and go over to the hammer pin and push it out and it should just click on the first notch right there. Okay? Now, with your screwdriver, push that little retaining spring out and you should be able to pull out the hammer pin from the left hand side of the receiver. Lay that aside. Then with our rubber band still attached, turn the hammer with its spring and take that out. Okay? Now we can get in there with our small pliers or screwdriver and lift out the retaining spring. It's this right here. Okay, and set that aside and go back to the trigger pin. Push that out. It should push out easily. There's no spring tension on it. And then pull it out to the left. Hold the disconnector on there so that its spring doesn't pop things apart. Lift out the disconnector, 
trigger and the little disconnector spring right there. As a final touch, take the safety lever, put it up in the vertical position, and just wiggle it out. To remove the bottom hand guard, rotate the four end band lock indicator right here as far as possible. Then, move the stop band forward. And disengage the hand guard by pulling forward and downward. To disassemble the magazine, depress the stop plate using a punch or nail and slide the cover plate off. Okay, restrain everything and the long spring will push itself out of the outer magazine assembly. I'll keep my finger on this here. Slide this off. Everything else on the gun is held together by rivets and pins depending on your particular model of AK. We really shouldn't drill these out or remove them unless for repair or replacement. Some of the AKs have their pistol grips held on with a screw. This one has a screw, but it's pounded flat on the top so you can't get it out. I'll just leave the pistol grip in for now. Otherwise, that's it for basic disassembly. Reassembly of the AK goes in the reverse order of disassembly. To assemble a magazine, insert the spring with follower and stop plate in the magazine, like this. Compress the spring. and hold the forward end with your finger. Then slip on the cover plate and then using a nail you press the stop plate until it clicks in. That's it for the magazine. To install the bottom hand guard Insert it like this. So that the rear face enters the recess in the receiver right here. Then, slip on the front band. And then, rotate the lock right here to the rear so that its indicator enters the notch on the band. When reassembling the internal components of the receiver, put your rifle across your knee and install the safety lever first like this. Take the safety lever, put it vertical to the receiver, stick it through the hole, until you get it lined up on the hole on the inside in there and then push it down to the fire position okay then hold the rifle flat across your knee our next step 
is to take the trigger and the disconnector mechanism and its spring, set them like so, and set it down in the trigger slot. Now, to make this a little easier, let's get a nail and from the right side, pass it through the trigger pin hole and, and run it loosely through to hold everything in place. Okay? Take your uh, trigger pin and then push out the nail slowly and you have to will have to push the disconnector down and use it to the front a little and uh, line up the disconnector hole it's hard to see in there let's see if we can get a little closer focus okay I'm pushing the the nail out from the left side of the receiver to the right, this way, okay? I'll wiggle that, and if you look in there, you can see it's pushing through. Wiggle the trigger until the trigger pin hits the hole on the opposite side of the receiver. It's sort of hard here. Let's see if we can see it right there. If you move the trigger, I'm pushing from the left, and there it is. That's in place, okay? See the trigger moving there? And also, I can push down on the disconnector, okay? Now let's put in the lock spring. The lock spring holds in the trigger pin and the hammer pin. Hold it like so. Place the loop over this rod you see here. And, and just let her drop in. To install a hammer, Make sure its spring is attached like so, and the hammer is facing forward this way with respect to the rifle. Then, to make things easier, squeeze the spring in the center like this, and grab the spring ears. and bring it back like so and hook the spring under tension to these little ears on the hammer. Okay? Now to hold it in place, wrap a rubber band around it. It'll make things a lot simpler. Okay? Now, let's go back into the receiver. We have our locking spring in there. Take the hammer, put it sideways, making sure that you keep everything above the locking spring. And merely rotate it until you can see the locking spring right here and the hole it came off a little let's put our finger in there and push it back down and we can see the hole through the hammer okay then we'll take the hammer pin right here and from the left side Get it above the locking spring into 
the hammer hole. Okay? Let's rotate receiver over and like we did with the trigger pin, pop her in place. Right there. Notice that uh, I still have a little gap right here it's because the locking spring hasn't snapped into the groove. Let's just tap that with a little copper hammer. Okay, now it's flush. Just like the trigger pin. Okay, now we can remove our rubber band. This rubber band makes it a lot easier. You can do it without it, but uh, it might take several tries and uh, a couple cut fingers to boot. Okay, now unhook it. Let the spring tension uh, snap that spring back <clears throat> and make sure the spring ears are over these little protrusions on the hammer, this side and this side, okay? Now, everything is installed back in the receiver. And let's cock the hammer back and restrain it with our thumb and pull the trigger and it lets the hammer go forward, okay? Now let's cock it back and put the safety up and restrain it just in case and try it again. It won't fire. Let's take the safety off, click her down, restrain the hammer, and the hammer and trigger assembly is now installed. To reassemble the bolt, Insert the extractor and spring into the recess toward the front of the bolt like this. Push it in. And then insert the extractor pin into the large hole. Tap it in and get a screwdriver blade and straighten out the groove so that it'll accept the firing pin, hold pin. Okay? Then, insert the firing pin into the bolt, making sure the recess or flat side allows the hold pin to be inserted. Okay, we'll just stick that in there. And then, in the small hole, we'll have to push in the extractor pin a little more. There we go. I push the extractor pin in there so that its groove allowed the firing pin, hold pin, to go through it and down through the bolt and that'll hold the firing pin. And tap that in. Okay? To reassemble a return mechanism, insert the return spring guide into the retaining block like this and then slip the spring over the whole assembly okay 
place the block on the edge of your chair or something and compress the spring all the way until you can see the spring guide. And then slip on your retainer, release the tension on your spring, and it should go on just like that. To reinstall the gas tube, first put the gas tube lock upward from the receiver as you see here, perpendicular to the barrel. Okay? Then insert the gas tube on the gas cylinder, which is right here. Okay, insert it like so. Slip her down, and then take the gas tube lock and click it into the depression on the right rear side face. To attach the bolt to the operating rod, insert the bolt into its channel like this. and rotate it forward, okay? Now, make sure the rifle hammer is in the cocked position. Okay. Turn this over, and holding the bolt in the forward position with our finger, insert the piston into the gas tube, and Bring it forward, and when you get to the rear of the receiver, there's some, a little cutout there to accept the operating rod. You press that down, like so, and slide the whole assembly forward. To reinstall the return mechanism, place it in the operating rod channel like this. Push it forward, then you press the guide tube rear face until it clicks in place. To install the cover, insert it so that it's forward face Enter the semicircular groove at the rear of the side face. Hold it forward and pull the rear down like this until it clicks in place. Put the cleaning rod back in under the barrel, bend it out so that it holds in place, then turn the gun over and reinstall your tool and accessory kit back into the stock like this. And that's it. <laughs> Now that wasn't so hard, was it? That's one of the reasons I like the AK. It's easy to disassemble and then reassemble. It's easy to maintain. And by the way, whenever you're working on firearms, always assume they're loaded. You never know.